If 437.5 pounds of water has a volume of 7.0 cubic feet, what's the density in grams per centimeter cubed? All right, so we want the units, grams per centimeter cubed. That's what we want to end up with. We want grams on top, which is mass, centimeters cubed, which is volume on bottom. So what we're going to do is we've, we've got the pounds. We're going to change pounds into grams and cubic feet into centimeters cubed. But we're not going to do it separately. You're expected to do it all in one setup. So we're going to put 437.5 pounds on top and 7.0 cubic feet on the bottom and we're just going to do it all in one calculation here. It doesn't matter if you change pounds first or cubic feet so we're going to change pounds into kilograms because that's the conversion we have and we know that there are 2.205 pounds in one kilogram. Now we can change kilograms, we'll put that on the bottom and grams on top. We know that the K is a prefix, it gets a 1, and we're going to substitute 10 to the third for the kilograms. Okay, so we're substituting 10 to the third in front of grams, the basic unit. Oftentimes students will put the 10 to the 3 with the kilo, and that's wrong. Okay, so we've got rid of pounds and kilograms, and we have the units we want, which are grams. So now we're going to change feet cubed, which is on the bottom, into centimeters cubed. So we're going to have to go from feet to meters to centimeters, and then we're going to cube everything. So feet is going to go on top and meters on the bottom. I know that one meter is 3.28 feet. That's our conversion. And then we're going to cube it. And then we're going to change. We've now gotten rid of feet. And we're going to change meters. We're going to cube it and change that into centimeters. Notice centimeters is on the bottom, right where we want them. So one centimeter, again, we're going to substitute 10 to the minus 2 for centi. Okay, now um, we're going to take 437.5 divided by 7, divided by 2.205 times 10 to the third, this might be a little tricky. Um, if you want to go ahead and cube it ahead of time, it comes out to 35.3 if you cube that. And then 10 to the minus 2 cubed is 10 to the minus 6. You know the answer to this. It has to be 1 because it's saying what's the density of water. And we know the density of water in grams per centimeter cubed is 1. Make sure when you put it in your calculator, you get 1. And so we have two significant digits here. It comes out to 1.0 grams per centimeter cubed.